All right, so um, we were able to change the parameter of T2 nano, but let's imagine that we wanted to make that a little bit more configurable so that we could provide a instance type uh, pragmatically via a variable. Uh, and so that's what we'll do next. So what I want you to do is make your way back over your, to your main.tf. And what we're going to do is define ourselves a new variable. Uh, so it's like variable T2, oops, sorry, um, instance type. And just to look it up in the documentation, we'll just type in variable Terraform. I'm just trying to show you where you can find this stuff very easily. So if we scroll on down, notice here that we need to define a type. So this is just going to be a string. So we'll go ahead and grab that, okay? And we can just make that a type string. And then when we want to reference this, what we do is just type in var, and then the name of the uh, variable name, which is instance type. And so instead of setting it um, you know, through here, what we can do is we can create like a tfvars files, or we can uh, provide it as a, a flag. So what I'll do first, and I'll just do a plan to just show you how we can do it a few different ways, but um, I'm gonna type in var, and I'm gonna put the name of the, the the variable, so it's like instance type equals, and I think I can do double quotations here, t2 micro. And we'll see what we get as a plan here. Okay, so notice that it's using the t2 micro. I could do this at, like with a medium as well here. Okay, so that's just one way of changing it. Another thing we can do is create ourselves a terraform.tfvars files that allows us to set a bunch of variables. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So what we'll do is just create a new file here and we'll type in terraform.tfvars and we'll say instance type equals t2 large. Again, I'm not gonna execute this. I just want to show you in the plan that's gonna show up. Okay, and see that it says a T2 large. So I'm gonna go back here and just change this to a T2, um, um, T2 micro, because that's what's on the free tier for AWS. T2 nano, even though it's smaller and more inexpensive, it's not. Uh, so if you are in the free tier, I wanna keep you in that so you save any money or have no spend. Uh, notice over here on the left-hand side that we have this TF state file. This has been uh, generated out. Notice that it's version four because every time uh, we've ran this, it, it has a new iteration, okay? Um, and this is basically defining the current state of our uh, infrastructure. So if you go through here, notice that it says type AWS instance, my server, what provider it's using, what its schema version is, the AMI here, the reference to the AMI, and all the properties. And these are all the properties we basically saw here. Uh, like if we scroll up, notice all these things here, they're pretty much all defined in here, exactly how it's going to be defined. You aren't ever supposed to uh, manually modify this file, um, but it is something visible you can look at. And when we do deploy, um, it is gonna show us the uh, a backup here. So if we, um, if we ever happen to lose our TF state file or we wanna go, uh, uh, we can always grab that backup file, okay? Um, but uh, yeah, so what I want to do here is now that I have that TFRs in place, I'm just going to go ahead and actually run apply. And actually, I'm going to run plan first, sorry. Just want to see this as T2 micro. Okay, so it says T2 micro. And what we can do is just do Terraform apply. And this time, I'm just going to do hyphen auto approve probably rarely want to do this, but if you just want to skip that yes process, you're like, you know, it's going to be fine. You can use that auto approve flag to do that. Okay. So here it says the T2 micro and it's just starting to modify it. Okay. So uh, th now that we've done that, I guess we'll take a look at locals here, but we'll just let this finish updating and then we'll move on to that. Okay.